back to another video, guys. So I spent my last few days dialing in and adjusting my Legends Revo Arc suspension. Um, I'm just. This is like the coolest part about the suspension is that you can just literally like adjust anything you want at any time depending on any type of riding you're gonna do. To me it's a plus, it's not the type of suspension which you're gonna, you know, put on and what you put on is what you're gonna have. No, you're gonna have several settings with this, which is awesome. So I went ahead and I played around with the rebound and I played around with the preload on the reservoir as well. Um, once you get your suspension and you put it on, what you wanna do is that you wanna turn this knob right here clockwise all the way so it doesn't click anymore. Legends recommends for you to uh, click it back four times, which is like the normal, what people usually type of riding style they use. I went ahead and I did the same thing for the preload. I turned it all the way clockwise and then I tweaked it back four clicks as well. Um, that gave me a, a really, really nice, uh, good type of riding feel. Um, it feels, it, it just, it's like right in the middle. It's like, that's like the sweet spot. Um, if I want to stiffen it up, then I'll keep adjusting it and I'll do a few more clicks. I also went ahead and I adjusted the spring here on both sides, which you're also supposed to do. Um, I got my measuring tape and I measured from the middle of the ball to the middle of the ball. They recommend for 13 inch shocks. So you either have it at 11 and a quarter or 12 and a quarter, which is fine. I am rocking it out at 12 and a quarter right now. That to me works pretty good. Now for the moment, I still have my reservoirs right here located in the bottom. I will be relocating them to the top later on uh, where the rear fender's at on top right here. Um, it's gonna give it a cool look. Uh, doesn't change anything, it's just for looks. Um, I like it where it is right now, but I also like it on top. Uh, I'm gonna rock out with this for a few weeks and then I'll switch it out to the top. With that being said, you guys see how I'm rocking out with this and how everything is displayed. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is that we're just gonna get on the road. We'll talk about the suspension, how everything is doing on the road with bumps and everything else. All right, so let me tell you, this bike feels like day and night right now. This new Legend suspension, amazing, man. Like it literally soaks up all the little bumps. I've taken the bike out a few times in the past week and it, it, it feels great, man. Um, especially I notice a huge difference in corners, man. When it comes to cornering now, I feel like um, the bike just feels a bit more edgier. It feels like I'm really able to get into those corners and get a bit more aggressive with my riding style as well, which is great. That's exactly just what I want. I've also been dialing this thing in, playing around with the preload, trying to find the perfect feel. Um, Cause it, it all depends on what type of riding style you're gonna wanna do as well. This thing like literally soaks up all these little potholes everywhere. These little bumps that we come across though. Like that would have just been like, uh, 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 uh. It's crazy how changing out your suspension on your bike changes the whole dynamics of your riding style, man. Like drastically. Cloudy day out here in dirty Jersey. No blue skies today, man. Cloudy, but no rain, so we can't complain. Can't complain about that at all. Now, like I was mentioning before, one cool thing about this suspension is that you're always able to dial it in however you want, changing those knobs up. Super, super easy. It's such a plus. <laughs> Love it, baby. Now that we got a full stage run on this bike, we got some suspension work. We got the Memphis Shades uh, windshield up front here. Um, I made the appointment this morning to finally get my risers installed. So it's like about a week and a half out, almost two weeks. Um, and yeah, man, uh, got the Arlen S risers. If you guys haven't seen that video, check that out. I got the Thrash Supply chrome bar to go with it with this little slight bent. And then we're gonna add on those brand new heated grips from Harley Davidson from the Empire Collection on there as well. Man, this bike is going to look and feel amazing, man. Oh, we 
we got the lucky Dave seat on here as well. A few things, man. A few things. A few teens. Now, I said it before in my past videos, installing the suspension on this bike. And when I installed the Revo A's on my Dyna, I highly, highly recommend Legends to anybody who wants to upgrade the suspension on their bikes. If you're looking for a stiffer ride, a plushier ride, you can change it up with a little switch of a dial. And if you really want to hit those twisties up with that perfect stiffness, you're definitely going to find that in those shocks. I got to say that I have done my dual diligence because I've been trying to take this bike over every little bump that I can lately, uh, trying to see how it does. And yeah, man, it's performing as I thought it would just soaking everything up feels great um, I cannot wait to take this bike on a, on a longer ride right now because I'm pretty sure that this is you know upgrading a suspension it's, it's gonna help out everything man even those long long hours of riding um, no back pains I mean even I wasn't really getting back pains with the stock suspension but then again I really haven't done you know a crazy amount of miles of this bike yet um, you know, two or three hundred miles a day, if anything, longest ride. But I do plan on doing some long miles, so uh, it's definitely gonna help out in the long run. I think that's gonna be it, guys. I highly, highly recommend Legend Suspension. Um, I said it before when I put my Revo A's on the Dyna, definitely, definitely worth it. Now, putting it on this bike, definitely worth it top of that you get a lifetime warranty which is also a huge huge big plus look at that a little street bob action over here over here we have the torque headquarters right now as well we're gonna be doing a quick little video on the new torque bag uh saddlebag guys um there was a little uh new redesign to it looks a bit different they're much bigger now as well so if you're interested in getting some um saddlebags and then hit up torque website's going to be linked down below as well use my promo code save yourself 15 percent on your purchase mk15 baby road glide street bob let's get it i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace